Over the past three years, the Cuban state-run cargo and passenger transportation sector has seen equipment failures and shortages of spare parts and fuel. All of it has had an impact on people trying to get around. Havana Transport Authorities recently said that the Cuban capital, with more than 2 million people, has only about 250 working buses, out of 561 in its fleet. At the same time, all American and Russian cars serve as private taxis charging high fares. Authorities are trying to bring the prices down and introduce electric vehicles to help move people. The International Transport Fair just held in Havana featured 120 local and foreign exhibitors and representatives from some 600 companies. The aim? To attract foreign investment, encourage joint projects and introduce new technologies to help the transportation sector. This year the exhibit features different makes and models of EVs. Organizers hope it's part of a trend towards replacing vehicles that use fossil fuels to those operating with clean energy. China is Cuba's major EVs provider. Volta Electric is a Chinese company promoting a series of vehicles for cargo and other uses. Our company is based in Shandong. We are promoting four types of electric vehicles, including trucks. They are small and very appropriate for Cuba. Vetka is another Chinese Cuban company here. It assembles and markets different models of IVs, including tricycles, scooters, bicycles, and other functional equipment. Many of them are already running on the streets of Havana. The director of one of Cuban electronics companies says his business is a recipient of Chinese technology. For us, China's collaboration over the years has been crucial for our production of TV sets, digital TV converter boxes, washing machines, solar panel systems, induction cookers, and other things. And the Chinese EVs, like this one, are very useful for our daily activities in our industry. Agreements were signed at the fair between Cuban and foreign companies from countries like Brazil, the United States, and Turkey in such areas as cargo transportation, airport logistics, and clean energy. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.